Hello everyone, my name is Terry, a scientific researcher, and my major is software engineering and computational neuroscience. With more work experience, everyone will gradually get used to seeing the world from the perspective of his or her job and major. Today, I will talk about how to understand human from the perspective of software engineering and computational neuroscience. From an individual perspective, whether it is a program or a person, it is composed of three basic abilities, input, processing, and output. It is difficult to build and coordinate the relationship between these three, which to a large extent caused the twists and turns of human growth and the diversity between people. The input is more dependent on innate endowments, for example, some people have a keen hearing while some people are hard to hear, and some are sensitive to melody while some are sensitive to rhythm. Usually, these individual differences will not cause too much trouble in life. This is because God is fair. When you have some sensors that are sensitive, others will be insensitive, and the amount of information gathered by all the sensors will not be much different, which matches the processing power of the human brain. However, there are a small number of people whose sensors are extremely sensitive, and small events around them will bring great stimulation, and these people will have a higher risk of mental illness. Therefore, when someone says that your reaction ability is too bad, slow, it does not necessarily mean that you are dull, but more that you have a more stable ability to acquire information. After the information enters the brain, it is allocated to different brain areas for processing separately, which is very similar to modular programming. Each module is responsible for a function, and various modules are combined to form a system. When the modules are divided, the design principles of high cohesion and low coupling are usually followed, that is, high-frequency data exchange requirements are encapsulated inside the module, and the relationship between the modules should be kept loose. Such a design can simplify the data processing process, improve data processing efficiency, and avoid the risk of overload caused by excessive data volume. In addition, based on the strength of the transmitted signal, the brain completes the learning process by gradually transforming the specific pattern of the received signal into a fixed pattern of neuron firing activity. A stronger signal means faster mode fixation, which means faster learning and mastering, and at the same time less easy to forget. Is this really good? Studies on rat brain cortex neurons have shown that the response intensity of individual nerve cells exposed to valproic acid before birth is twice that of ordinary cells, and the extent of their neuronal connections is also twice that of ordinary cells. This neuron network will learn quickly. However, these individuals will show symptoms of autism and are more likely to be anxious and more likely to be frightened, but they also learn more quickly what to fear and cannot forget what they have learned. Therefore, when someone says that you are too stupid, it does not necessarily mean that you are slow in learning, but more means that there is space and leeway for you to think more deeply. After repeated processing of information and careful consideration, it is usually not necessary to actually output a specific action, but to draw a conclusion and make a judgment. Further cooperating with actions, we need to verify, experience, accumulate and test our thinking with practice. We also need to upgrade our thinking and unite knowledge and actions. In thus the output will not be fantasy and the brain is then ready for the next round of purposeful input. When building a software system around a requirement, 
The participants often have limited understanding of this requirement, and they are not proficient in relevant technologies. As the first version of the system is completed and delivered, misunderstanding of previous requirements and technical implementation errors will gradually be exposed, and customers will put forward new demands. At this time, a real software project is officially started. Therefore, building a healthy, virtuous closed loop which can be sustainably verified and fed back is the core of the output. However, with the accumulation of experience, everyone will have his or her own way of thinking. This way of thinking can help you greatly improve your ability to judge things, but it will also constrain your mind. It's necessary to constantly use reverse thinking to offset the constraints brought by the fixed way of thinking. Therefore, when someone says that you are too stubborn, it does not always mean that you are lack of thinking, but more that you may have adopted a more conservative thinking strategy here. Whether building a program or training a talent, there is no perfect solution. The gains of any single metric come at the expense of other metrics. Don't always think about becoming smart because it involves taking huge risks. Survival and competition are not about how brilliant something is in a specific period of time. But in the long run, what will play a decisive role is whether it can escape the risks brought about by the loss of its original advantages after all environmental changes. Therefore, the key to sustainable development is to uphold the golden mean, balance the demands of various aspects, balance the risks and benefits as much as possible, and seek the optimal solution on the whole.